Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Sally and I'm a mixed media artist in Australia. And honestly, I'm not feeling so great at the moment. Um, if you saw my community post, you, I've had a lot of extra work things on and photography things on and events and birthdays and I'm a little bit burnt out. I think I've picked up a little bit of a cold. It's also very cold where I live, so I'm all like bundled up today um trying to stay warm and my makeup's doing a lot of heavy lifting today uh so what i thought i would do today is just give you a flip through of my bullet journal as it is almost finished this lasts me six months so this will be a flip through of january to june I'll just give you a little flip through of all the different spreads and yeah something a little bit less energy from me today um this is about all i can produce but let me know if you're into bullet journal stuff because i do have to set up my uh next six monthly journal from july to december and also do the july monthly spread so if you're interested in that i'll keep posting the bullet journal stuff uh, it is an essential part of my creative process. So I find it really interesting and I like watching bullet journal uh, videos as well. So please let me know what you think and I'll keep making more of them. But in the meantime, grab a snack, get cozy, put your heater on, and enjoy the video. <laughs> Okay, so my bullet journal is from Archer and Olive. It is the A5 dot grid journal, and I think it's the 192 page. I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. Uh, and I got this cool one with the snake, and it is also covered in cat fur, so that's great. Now, my cover page, I just did my name in a gothic font. And I thought I would do for each journal uh, a self-portrait, both as a way to mark myself every six months, but also uh, a way to measure my art style because it's constantly evolving and what I'm interested in changes and my mediums change and what I'm interested. So it'd be a good like, way to measure where I'm at at the time I'm setting the journal up. So I just did this in colored pencil. And this is a sticker that I made from one of my sketchbook illustrations and all shop orders get this sticker as a bonus. I throw that one in and my shop is linked down below. Then we have on the first page uh, stickers and these are either stickers from online orders or art subscription boxes, things like that, just anything I come across. And then the grid spacing guide. And now this is pretty handy for when you're setting up your weekly spreads. Uh, it's just a, like a cheat sheet on what fits onto the page depending on how you want to break up your sections so amanda rachley actually has a really great video explaining this and i will link that down below so you can use that as reference because it's very handy i've got my six month calendar here so i can just pop in events and things like that and then i've got the next six months as well so i keep the full year there just in case like because sometimes you buy a ticket to a show and it gets announced so far in advance so you can just pop that in so when i set up the following six months it'll start at july and then it'll end at june uh three words i wanted to take into this six months and a very woeful books I read page with hardly anything on it. <laughs> uh, two physical books. I've almost finished a third and an audio book. So, yeah, I'm trying to read more. But it's a luxury just to sit down for hours with a book. I've got my package tracker, which is where I just keep track of everything that I'm waiting for in the mail 
Uh, it is very easy to lose track of things and I like to be able to follow up if something hasn't arrived. And the little wish list, which is basically just things for the studio. Things to check out, uh, a page for books, film, TV, art, music and podcasts. This is all things that I would like to, I've either read about or been told about by a friend and my memory isn't great. So I write everything down. Art to make, which is essentially just when I get ideas for like major project or more major projects, not just like sketchbooks ideas or things like that and then uh, some personal goals highlights like a monthly photo highlight and this I'm running behind in because I know I've got a packet of Instax film somewhere but I cannot find it and I won't buy another one because I've already got some but I can't find it so I'm really running behind on that but yeah, I finished a painting series, I launched my shop, and I went and saw Bikini Kills. That was the first three months of the year. And then I've got my lunar calendar, which is all the moon phases. And then we go into the monthly spreads. So I Deserve This Wonderful Life was something that came up in a therapy session for me. And I thought that was really important to pop it into this first page because it's a really good affirmation and we all do this is for everyone so you can steal it this was the first bullet journal that i set up properly since i moved to this new place and i was really inspired by all the bird life i've got so many birds in around me it's incredible so this january spread was just heavily inspired by all the birds in the area so I've got my calendar, to-do list and the full moon things, my playlist, which is something that I keep every month. It's just things that I either listen to a lot that month or things that really resonated with me. So I keep a list every month and that's really cool to like listen back to these songs and you kind of get taken straight back to those moments. Watch list is for all the TV shows and movies that I watched. And then one line a day is a little daily diary. And then I've got my weeklies. So I generally, I used to do my weeklies week to week, but I find that it really benefits me to have the whole month written out so I can plan ahead. So now I sit down and do the whole month at the start or just before the start of the month. So it's all ready to go. So I do like to keep my pages a little bit different with a little bit of variety in the way I lay them out. Small wins are big wins. So this is just my day to day things, things I have to do. Um, yeah, everyone's puts things down differently. Reflections, where I pop accomplishments, gratitude, things to work on, and then just my socials numbers. And I've always got pages of notes scribbled. Okay, now February, this is my favorite spread for the whole six months. Uh, I had been wanting to do a Riot Girl spread or or inspired spread for ages I'd wanted to do it last year and I finally did it for February so this was heavily inspired by the riot girl movement and the zine and yeah I had a lot of fun making little collages and using my little stamps and setting this whole thing up so generally I'll either start with like an idea like this or a color palette or a font and it all sort of comes together somehow. My to-do list, my video ideas, brain dump and watch list, my playlist,
this I just recreated from a page in the Riot Girl zine. And one line a day. This is one of my favourite collages from a month. So when I'm op shopping, I just look for old books and magazines and I just have a pile in my studio and that's what I use to collage. And I love making collages. Uh, full moon spread. Another weekly. Live alone and love it. Stand by that 100%. Now this is actually from the 50s, but it's still relevant today. Oh, this is another collage. Full Moon in Pisces. Yeah, this was just such a fun little theme. I could honestly do the whole six months like this and be quite happy. Uh, just some notes. Uh, March, I did my theme. I used watercolour and did blind contour drawings with a black fine liner. Got my calendar. To-do list, video ideas brain dump and watch list. Uh, this was a sticker that I made to go on all my online orders because I've switched over to everything's as recyclable as possible and I wanted to let everybody know. So I made this little sticker with my black metal kitten. My playlist. And then my weeklies. Full Moon in Virgo. Now I keep these, I do these as blank pages at the start of the month and then I just, when it comes up to a couple of days before the day, I start writing down just things to focus on. It's like a little journaling page almost. And my weeklies. So this was a pretty basic kind of setup, but the blind contour drawing was really fun. And that's when you... Uh, look at an image and draw it without looking at your paper. So you draw it from looking at the reference, if that makes sense. Maybe I'll do a video on it. It's really, really fun because it doesn't come out exact and they look, they come out really loose and yeah, they just look, it's really cool. New Moon in Aries. More weeklies, one line a day and reflections and April. Now this is where we the neon starts coming in to my life because I did uh, monthly faves sketchbook spread and I used a neon font. Like I just had this idea that I wanted to the font to look like neon. So I actually did the whole April bullet journal spread in neon. It took forever. Like it took so long to do this. And that's why it's a little bit more basic than the others because it was just so time consuming. But I think it looks really cool. Cheering Our Names in the Pink Spotlight is a lyric from a Lana Del Rey song. We have our calendar. Like, I, re I think it looks really cool. Obviously nothing in my brain in April. Playlist. And then, so I had the intention of doing artwork in here, but I just never got around to it. Like, I like having some blank spaces so I can pop in a collage or an illustration, but I just never got around to it. My weeklies. Oh, this is such a cute quote by Anna Nin. My hair is being pulled by the stars again. And I think I'm going to do some artwork around this because it really inspired me. 
new moon in Aries. Sometimes I just write things. Line of day and reflections. And here's the first full neon goth spread for May. I am obsessed with this font. I love it. I used neon, my neon watercolors and my neon paint pens. Playlist. Full Moon in Scorpio. Oh, actually, that's what I wanted to say. So this neon, I didn't have my neon watercolors at this stage. I wanted to make a font that looked neon. And then before the end of the month, I actually had gotten the neon watercolors. So it was just like the neon was meant to be. I was already sort of channeling it before the neon paint came into my life. So it's very interesting to see when you look back and see where you're at. Sometimes things come to you before you are actually conscious of it. So these spreads are really fun. So I, I use the neon watercolors for all this. It's hard to pick it up on camera. Well, my little kitty sitting in a pentagram. I love this little watercolor illustration. It's like a, a castle in the background with a little bat and some trees. One line a day. Uh, this sticker from one of my favorite bands, Fawn, this was on my turntable, but the cats have been picking at it and pulling at it. So I just stuck it in my journal instead because I didn't want to lose it. Brain dump, watch list, reflections. And that brings us to June. And I did do a video setting this up. So you can watch that if you want. June obviously is not finished yet. Lots of King Woman on my playlist because I went and saw her last week. My weeklies. I like this setup too. I love this illustration. And that brings, this is our week. So we've got one more week to go. So yeah, that's just like tax stuff and notes. And sometimes I write my dreams in the back. So yeah, that's my bullet journal. So keeping this has really been a game changer. This is only my second year of bullet journaling and I absolutely love it. So please let me know in the comments down below if you want more bullet journal stuff because it is something that I do regularly. Uh, I have to set up my June to December or July to December bullet journal probably next week I'll be doing that I might start working on that tomorrow uh, and yeah let me know if that's something that you want to see and I'll definitely post it thank you so much for watching and listening to me talk and having a little sneak peek at my life through my journal and I hope it gave you some ideas and inspiration uh, even if it's just for trying new color palettes or maybe you want to try and do some collage I highly recommend it's a lot of fun uh, or maybe you just want to capture some of your animal friends it's such a cool thing to do thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Did I say that already? <laughs>